escaping Earth's gravity is a hard problem. You need a big rocket. The first thing we do when we start stacking is the rocket boosters on both sides. And then we've got the core stage. It's mainly composed of two large tanks of our propellants, liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Some people ask, why does NASA need a big rocket? Why don't you just go with what the commercial sector has produced? The reason we need a big rocket is because we want to go far fast. I'm Charles Bolden. I spent eight years as the NASA administrator. And before that, I spent 14 years flying on the space shuttle. With shuttle, we had to get up to a speed of about 18,000 miles an hour so that we stay in that orbit going around Earth. When we go to the moon, we want to break that bond and overcome gravity, which means I've got to go a lot faster, about 25,000 miles an hour. And that means you've got to have a lot of power. Together, the solid rocket boosters and the core stage provides about 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, meaning SLS will be the most powerful rocket in the world ever built but it was a harder challenge to get to this point. Everything we're doing, we're, we're going through a learning curve. D minus 10. There have been a number of criticisms, but building this scale of vehicle designed to launch humans is difficult. It's clear for test. You're sitting on top of a bomb, right? You're sitting on top of things that are designed to react. You're bringing oxygen and hydrogen together and pfft. Ignited, and you get a lot of forceful steam coming out the back end. And we have to make sure that it's controlled, knowing that if you don't do something right, the people on top of that could get hurt. Systems are go for static test. 